Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and we are now into the month of February, which means that Christmas has now come and gone, as has New Year's, as has a few other holidays that I did not celebrate the same way this time around as I might have in years prior. It's kind of been busy. So, instead of showcasing some Darth Vader Christmas stuff, separate from Darth Vader New Year stuff, separate from Darth Vader Valentine stuff, and yes... There's a lot of new Darth Vader stuff to go around, as well as some old stuff. I thought I'd cram it all into one video, starting with this holiday ornament. I celebrate Christmas and Life Day. You may choose a different winter holiday, given that it's the winter solstice. That is the true and only reason for the season. Do not be confused. Ow. Sorry, that's something that I don't really want to damage. I'm going to keep it in the box. Got this at 50% off, because I got it. After the winter holiday season, that's the best time to buy any kind of decor or something related to the holiday that you happen to be celebrating. Tons of decorations to go around. This one I did not have. Specifically, an exclusive, as was listed somewhere. I got it for just a couple of bucks, I swear. It said exclusive somewhere. I'm confident it did. Well, either way, it's a Darth Vader helmet that you could just stare at, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Well, not right now. I'm going to go back over here to show you the second thing that I got at half off. <sighs> For next year's holiday tree, a Darth Vader tree topper. Right there. As I'm going to sneeze. Maybe. No, I'm not. Not going to sneeze. But I might. Not right now. Ah, uh, Darth Vader tree topper. You basically put this on top of the tree. I'm going to keep it in the box, though. So you're going to have to keep watching me for the next year or so uh, to find out <laughs> how well it works on top of a tree, which I no longer have. That's what the Darth Vader tree topper looks like. They also produced a Yoda tree topper. You may have seen the Death Star tree topper. I wasn't as interested in this uh, in the beginning of the season. We used a bow, a big bow that Diana put on the tree, and then a Darth Vader helmet, which wasn't necessarily designed to be on the top of a holiday tree, but it worked out well enough. This is battery-operated. So it'll glow. It's very nice. I, I like things that light up and glow. I don't know if you knew that. But uh, next year's holiday tree will have Darth Vader. The full Darth Vader character on top of the tree. I'm going to be uh, putting that away. Believe it or not, it's not likely going to stay here in the play shop where most, if not all, of the Darth Vader things we have happen to end up. Now, when I was going through the uh, the holiday decor, holiday, holiday, How's that go now? There's, there's, just, there's, uh, uh, catch me outside. How about that? Did I do that right? Is that what the kids are doing these days? Anyway, uh, <laughs> years ago, they produced Galactic Heroes, uh, stocking stuffer series, which I had. And when I was putting them out and Jedi was helping me, and we were going through the characters. You probably already saw that video or not. I realized that Boba Fett was missing, which was a shock because I keep them all together or had kept them all together. I didn't misplace that Boba Fett. I know I didn't. I would have seen it. So, kind of makes me wonder if someone who might have been visiting the Gnomestead uh, ran off with the Boba Fett. So, there's the uh, series of figurines, which now I have all of them. So, I had to go out this uh, year and get um, the set with Boba Fett in it. And I'm probably, even though I really want to take Boba Fett out you know, next year for all those uh, figurines, the Stocking Stuffer series, uh, I'm probably going to keep this package intact because it's in great condition and there's a Darth Vader right in the middle. Plus, Stormtrooper and Boba Fett stuff, which I also have here in the play shop as well. So it'll fit right in with the rest of the decor. Moving on, this is a new Darth Vader treat container. This shaped like a heart, as we know the heart, not like the human heart that, uh, you know, might have been eaten in, uh, you know earlier times I would I would never have eaten a heart that I n know of I, I didn't so this has got chocolate inside I don't think hearts have chocolate inside real hearts but the heart shape does uh, I have a series of Darth Vader heart shaped containers that are unopened this will join them uh, but this design, brand new for this year, at least I had not yet seen it. And I'd seen the other ones. Sometimes when it comes to Valentine's and, and, and the winter holiday season stuff, they may recycle the same designs on a, a different packaging. But this is brand new for this year, so keep an eye out for that. 
Also, uh, ow, okay, this is kind of hurting. I'm floating back and forth between holidays. I realize I'm going to do my best to uh, whew, not do that again. This is also a new Darth Vader holiday card, a, a Valentine's Day card. It's 3D, so you can see Darth Vader's holding out the heart. Isn't that neat? You underestimate the power of Valentine's Day. I like it because it's not specific to a sex or a gender, and Star Wars is gender or sex neutral, which is nice because Star Wars is for everybody. I did not have this Darth Vader card. I can't even come close to getting all the Darth Vader cards out there. Not just because I started late, but because there are so many of them. Uh, also found this at the holiday season, a new Darth Vader tin, at least a new design for a Darth Vader tin. This one has lollipops inside. Stormtrooper lollipops, not shaped like a heart. Uh, but this is, uh, I guess, it's not exactly a holiday kind of thing. But some people do give candy tins for, for gifts. It's evergreen in that capacity, and... It's something that I did not have that I got half off because Darth Vader tin. The uh, heart that I showed you, by the way, is cardboard. It is, it is cardboard. Um, this was a gift from Jasmine and Slav. I do want to open it because inside happens to be a series of magnets on one sheet and specifically... This one right here is what I wanted. The other ones, I'm not sure where they're going to go. We'll probably go into a bag, and then we'll pull them out uh, during the next holiday season because they are decorated all wintry, including a stormtrooper. I'm sorry, a clone trooper, a Yoda, R2, C3PO. There's the Darth Vader, of course. Boba Fett with a uh, Mythosaur skull logo and some TIE fighters and snowflakes. I'm a snowflake. I'm telling you, man. It's true. Uh, this is the reason why I wanted to open it right there because this is going onto a magnetic board that I have here at the front of the play shop. I'm assuming, yep, it just pops right out. Got to be careful. I don't think anything's going to break, but there we go. Huh? Nice. Stick this on a cathode ray tube, and you will really mess things up. It's true. Uh, so don't do that. I would not recommend it. So thank you, Jasmine and Slav. I never buy calendars before the new year. And I usually wait. These were 75% off, these calendars. This wall calendar is kind of nice. 13 posters inside, styled like your favorite Star Wars characters here. Uh, but this is also something that I, I like because it's got Darth Vader on the front. So I'm probably going to keep it in the packaging as well as this because Darth Vader is on the front, even though what we have on the back is a series of uh, characters. I actually have a second one of these. And the second one that I have is uh, in Spanish and English, which is really nice because then Jedi gets to see it. Diana enjoys it. So we, you know, kind of find the, the best of all of our cultures here in the home. And uh, 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 this this price tag says four ninety seven. I know I got it like it half off of that, too. So I, I get them on a discount. The only thing that I was really missing this year was the daily Star Wars calendar. The, I should have picked it up even at full price because I couldn't find one at a discount. And I, I don't want to pay... I really don't like pay, paying full price for anything. A lot of the stuff that I get online, I use gift cards for courtesy of go.tagjag.com slash free apps and go.tagjag.com slash free points. I'm getting lightheaded. I'm serious, man. That's, I don't know if it's because I got the sneeze that's still waiting to come out or, or what. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, that's pretty much all I had in that pile. I'm going to move on to doing a few other videos showcasing some new Darth Vader stuff that I picked up over the past uh, couple of months for everybody. Uh, so happy that you could join me. So happy that we could share our Star Wars enthusiasm. And I only wanted to say one other thing. I love you. Actually, another thing after that. I appreciate you. And then another thing. At this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. And may the Force be with you.